The Israeli Prime Minister's office said on Monday that the military has put forth a plan for evacuating civilians in the Gaza Strip, along with an operational plan. The announcement comes as Israel threatens a full-scale invasion of Rafah, Gaza's southernmost city, which has so far been untouched by ground troops. Now, 1.4 million Palestinians are sheltering in 10 cities in Rafah. The British Red Cross says Rafah is now so overcrowded that displaced people are struggling to find enough space to put up a basic tent. Most people living here have been displaced several times now, and there is a lack of food, drinking water, sanitation and health care. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Sunday that the military operation into Gaza's Rafah would put Israel within weeks of total victory over Hamas. Negotiations for a ceasefire in Gaza have resumed in Doha. State-linked Egyptian media reported, but uh, Netanyahu said any deal would pro not prevent the Rafah offensive. Speaking to CBS, the Israeli Prime Minister said, and I quote, if we have a ceasefire deal, it will be delayed somewhat, but it will happen. He added, if we don't have a deal, we'll do it anyway. It has to be done because total victory is our goal and total victory is within reach, not months away, weeks away, once we begin the operation. An Israeli team was in Paris on Friday to discuss a deal on a fresh ceasefire and the release of hostages in exchange for Palestinian prisoners held by Israel. Now, the talks then restarted in Doha with the Hamas representatives. Netanyahu said, we're all working on it. We want it. I want it because we want to liberate the remaining hostages. He added, I can't tell you if we'll have it, but if Hamas goes down from its delusional claims and brings them down to earth, will have the progress that we all want. During the Hamas attack on Israel on the 7th of October, Palestinian militants took some 250 hostages, 130 of whom remain in Gaza, including 31 presumed dead. As with the previous truce in November that saw over 100 hostages and 240 Palestinian prisoners freed, Qatar, Egypt and the U.S. have been spearheading efforts to secure a new deal. International pressure for a ceasefire has mounted in recent weeks. According to Gaza officials, the death toll from Israel's military offensive on the Palestinian territory is nearing 30,000, mostly women and children. Israel has vowed to destroy Hamas, which rules Gaza, in response to its October attack that resulted in the deaths of over 1,100 people, mostly civilians. For latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.